Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have more preseason leaks in FIFA 22, including potentially the most meta showdown set of players that we have seen yet. Two big player leaks for a showdown SBC upcoming later on this week and another transfer SBC leak as well to go over in today's video. And of course, we have to talk about yesterday, the 85 times 10 times 10 not unlimited repeatable but going from three times a day all the way up to 10 times a day that we can do this sbc it's impacting the fodder market a little bit and it is allowing people to craft sbcs at an even faster rate if you still have coins and you still have fodder to get stuff done you can now do 10 of these per day it's not quite unlimited repeatable but i mean it's in that gap of like okay 10 of these per day that's still pretty crazy. And they also lowered the amount of chemistry. So it's a little bit easier to get it done as well. So I want to talk about that. And of course, everything going on with some interesting price range updates. We'll cover that as well in today's video. So if you're excited for a potential showdown SBC between Sevilla and Barcelona, you may have already seen the leak. Hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at this because this will be, in my opinion, some of the two most meta cards that we have had via showdowns yet this preseason promo it is between alex tellez and jules kunde for a big game between sevilla and barcelona upcoming this saturday that's the key right this game is being played this upcoming saturday and so when we talk about a time frame for the release of this sbc i immediately think three days before that takes us to wednesday right that's when we saw the pogba and wynaldum dropped last week so i'm looking at wednesday today um well wednesday tomorrow technically as the day that this SBC would be dropped. Again, no dynamic images on the cards in the game because they are transfer items. But Alex Tellez, right? Earlier on this year, he had a Road to the Finals card. I think it was a Road to the Knockouts card that people used a lot. And it was Road to the Final UCL Live uh, released in February. 9 million, 9.8 million games. That's a lot of games for a card used in February. A very popular Brazil left back. And I mean, in the end game, some people have been saying, hey, Nate, we need a better left back. We have Cancelo, we have Taylor Hernandez, we've had Amavi. All those are good, but we need another one. This is our guy right here. I mean, you look at those predicted stats. That would be a left back that would insert into basically everybody's team. You get Militao, you get the brand new Kunde, or the Diego Carlos that was dropped yesterday. Very, very linkable in basically any team. And then also another French center back. We just had Lacroix, we have had Varane. But this Kunde card is, would be one that so many people would get excited for as well. Because as you guys know, Kunde has had some really insane specials this year. He's had the Tots card. But even before that, he had these two, the Fire and Ice promo. And he had the Team of the Year honorable mentions. Can't even forget about this card as well. 19 million games played with this card. Seriously, I think that's one of the most used center backs in the game. This card was incredible. This card was incredible. I mean, this guy's cards all year were FIFA fan favorites because of how cracked he was in game. He kind of has his own like unique running style as well in game. His own like unique body type, even though it says he has the average body type. I mean, it just feels like unique in its own way for a center back. Uh, five foot 11, a little bit shorter, but pretty high agility balance. I mean, on his Tots card, he has 86 agility and 90 balance. Just imagine what that's going to be on a 96 rated showdown card or somewhere around there. 95 or 96, you would expect. I think they released Erickson, Nunez, and Pogba and Wijnaldum all as 96s, so 96s are a pretty good prediction here for these showdown cards. Again, I'm thinking around the Wednesday time frame for a drop on this, and if you take a look at the price as well, I mean, what, Pogba, Wijnaldum were between, you know, 150 to 300,000 coins. That's probably what I would expect again here. Since they're both defenders, could they be a little bit cheaper? I hope so. Maybe somewhere around 200k or maybe 150 for both of these cards would be a great, great price point. But again, super meta cards, super popular in game. Really, really excited for the release of this SBC later on in the week. Speaking of showdowns really fast, we had an upgrade yesterday. We had an upgrade early in the day yesterday. I didn't even talk about it in yesterday's video, but Pogba and Wijnaldum both got their plus ones. And I will be completely honest and say I played like two games with Pogba post upgrade. 
noticeable difference. I don't know what it was. Um, I honestly didn't think about the upgrade, like think about, okay, he should be better. You know, when you're playing with the card after he gets an upgrade and you're like, hmm, this guy should be better. So you look for it. Um, I mean, using that card, I definitely felt the upgrade, I feel like. So nice upgrade for the Pogba and for the Wijnaldum. And that just gets us even more excited for this next upcoming show on SBC, most likely tomorrow. Could be today, but I really do think it will be tomorrow on a Wednesday. Now, that's not even all for the leaks. We have more leaks to talk about. Two leaks on a Monday. It was kind of crazy. Um, now, would this card be something that is released today? Or would this be a very early leak for something that we might not see until Friday? That's what I want to discuss with this big leak right here. Sadio Mane, preseason player, transfer SBC. Of course, this is a card that I would say is up there in the top five of one that people really wanted to see get, get a transfer SBC from his move from Liverpool to Bayern. Of course, if you did the Graven Birch, this would be a very nice green link to that Graven Birch car with the Bayern links. Easy to get those two in a team together for sure. Now, the things that are interesting about this league, right? We have 99 rated and we have a position change to striker. These stats are a prediction. So I will say 99 rated, it, I, I would rather, not rather, I would more, you know, think that we would get a 98 rated card. I think that's a lot more possible than a 99, but who knows, right? And then the position change, a lot of times, I feel like I've noted this before, or we've seen this before be pretty consistent. When Foot Sheriff leaks a card, even if he says stats or a prediction, but that card has a position change on it, a lot of times the position change is not a prediction, it is actual. So, we will see if this Mane card is indeed a striker. I think that would add some hype to his card, of course. Then you can move him up and down wherever you need him to be in your team for chemistry purposes, uh, especially linking to a Gravenberch. But that will be a very, very nice Sadio Mane card. Of course, his team of the season card, which I have, is so, so good. Uh, so I can only imagine how good a 97, 98, maybe hopefully a 99 rated um, Sadio Mane would be as well. If he gets that five-star weak foot as well, I mean, of course, the five-star skills was a nice upgrade from his team of the season, but five-star, five-star would be cracked on a Sadio Mane card. So definitely watch out for that one. Some people in the Twitch chat while we were streaming yesterday when this leak was going out were saying, Nate, this might be our most expensive transfer SBC yet. And to be completely honest with you, I think I agree with that statement. I'm, I'm not expecting it to be the most expensive. I just think it very well could be right former liverpool player now playing at bayern some people would say oh he's not playing in the premier league he would be a little bit cheaper but again it does kind of depend on the price of this card uh or sorry the rating of this card and if they do a position change if they make him 99 rated and central i could see him being three four five hundred thousand coins probably more around that three to four hundred thousand coin range just because for all of the brand new transfer sbcs we haven't had one that has been over like 300k, I believe. It's like kind of the most expensive SBC, like Holland, 217,000 coins. Diego Carlos is 120k from yesterday. Like all of these transfer card SBCs are pretty cheap, which is very, very nice. But this Mane might be one that just is a little bit more expensive because that is a pretty big card and potentially really big rating as well. Now, like I said, if you think back to last week, we did not have any transfer SBCs released from Monday until Thursday. We had Diego Carlos yesterday, so that broke the cycle a little bit. But I'm starting to wonder, since we had the leaks early last week for Renato, Holland, and Rudiger, really wondering if that Sadio Mane card is actually just a very early leak for his release probably on Friday with a new week starting of preseason. So that's just something that's off the top of my head right away. I mean, we've been on a roll. I think we had four days in a row with Diego Carlos. Um, and then we had, let's see, we had Rudiger. Then we had, oh yeah, we had Holland. Then we had Rudiger. Then we had Renato Sanchez and then Diego Carlos. So four days in a row of transfer SBCs. I really doubt they make it five. That would not make sense for them to kind of like front load the content that, that much. We'll have to see. I mean, Diego Carlos SBC yesterday was nice and a little unexpected personally, but we will take it, right? Another really cheap Brazilian center back in the Premier League with his new team, Villa. Uh, so that's that's a W. And if I'm being completely honest, you know, that Mane card just seems to be like a Friday type of card to me. Very, very big name, big change in club to going to Bayern, trying to, you know, score goals in the absence of Lewandowski. Lewandowski getting a transfer card as well. Feels like a Friday type of SBC for me. Now we'll have to see if we get more leaks later on throughout this week, 
But that's just kind of my thought process right about now, just to maybe set a little bit of an expectation right there. So that's kind of the Mane League situation right now. Now, 85 times 10, once again, I want to talk about this a little bit because yesterday we were like, all right, EA Sports, can this SBC revive the game? And they didn't release it unlimited repeatable, but I still feel like from them jumping th three times a day to 10 times a day was a, a little bit unexpected and, and maybe created a little bit more hype uh, than initially we, we thought we were going to get. So it's not unlimited repeatable, but you know, 10 being such a big number of, of times you can complete this in a day, I think that took people by surprise. And I think more people are doing this SBC right now since you could do it 10 times. It does instill a little bit more of hype, although it's not unlimited, but 10 times is getting pretty close to that. Let's be completely honest. But one thing they also did was they lowered the chemistry, only 30 chemistry instead of 55, which does make it a little bit easier to rinse your duplicate fodder. It doesn't really matter what position it's in. You get one or two links and boom, you have 30 chemistry and you're good to go. So that is very, very nice for the 85 times 10. It does make your footies cards a little bit more craftable. Furlan Mendy still one day, 14 hours left. You guys are maybe doing Salah, Griezmann, St. Max, Neymar. Uh, you know, again, you have another SBC, or, or sorry, you have more than the usual 85 times 10 to continue to try crafting those. Or if you're going out and doing, of course, the big R9, the big Ronaldinho or Hullet, any of these big boy SBCs, Pele that you might be crafting, more SBCs for the 85 times 10 is, of course, better. Now, let's take a look at the SBC fodder side of things because releasing that 85 times 10 more times actually seems like it's making people go and buy more fodder. I mean, yesterday I was buying, before content, I was buying 83s at like 2K, less than 2,000 coins. And right now we're sitting with 83s up at a pretty high price range of around 3,000 coins, just a smidge under for a few of these cards. John Stones, 2.9K. Ocampos, I believe, is somebody that we check decently often. He's around 2.9, 3,000 coins. So these 83s are definitely up. If we take a look at these graphs, of these players definitely a rise yesterday right definitely a little bit of a spike not on all of them actually jesus is probably a better one to look at than kiesa because he just fluctuates more than that card does jesus down here at 1.9k spiking above three and just kind of chilling around that 3k range but the other interesting thing is you don't have 85s or 86s going up i mean in fact 85 rated delict 4.2k did he even spike yesterday? Delict went from 3.8, had a high of 5.7, and then went up to about 5,000 coins and then is back down to 4.2. So again, you're seeing more fluctuation on that lower tier fodder. How about 84s? Did they move that much yesterday? Kessie usually moves a, a decent amount. Oh, wow. Yeah, they were really low. Okay, so 2.7K spiking all the way to 4.7. Now down, but still uh, not down that much. Still around 3.4K. If you're looking at 84s, like I would wanna see these guys at like 3K or below. But I mean, to be fair, with some of these spiking up over a thousand coins yesterday, you could see a fair spike on them today. Just watch the 83s again. We, we, we don't have any tradable supply. So 85 times 10 times 10 again today, there's going to be more demand out there for this fodder. Absolutely watch those prices. Now, since this was released 10 times again, you can like doing it, this SPC 10 times a day is going to drain some coins off the market. You did have a couple cards that dropped a bit yesterday. Teo Hernandez is like 260,000 coins besides that undercut right there on the PlayStation console. You take a look at his price. He was 260 before content, went down to about 230, and then it's kind of rebounded back slowly. Uh, there's a few cards that had this sort of thing yesterday. Shenman Sun's like 230,000 coins yesterday. He was about 240, went down to 200, and then is now back up to about 230. So you definitely had a little bit of price drops yesterday on the meta market as people were maybe going and selling a few cards because they were like, wow, EA Sports, I can do 10 85 times 10s per day. So that was a little bit of a surprise in its own right yesterday on the game. I talked about Diego Carlos, great value SBC, 120,000 coins, another great, really high tier center back. Feels like we're getting a lot of center backs right now. Diego Carlos... Rudiger, and we're about to get Kunde. So three center backs kind of in a row just kind of feels like how last week we had a lot of midfielders. So kind of the trade off there, uh, but a lot of options is nice. We love the options. So GG's the A Sports and a great, well priced Diego Carlos SBC. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is foot captains because you might have heard the news yesterday that EA Sports changed some price ranges and they did update some price ranges but really not in the way that you would have wanted them to. Now you see, I searched foot captains up and the only one that's really on the market right now is Marcelo. And that's 
not really any of a change. Well, yesterday EA Sports actually updated price ranges for a lot of the foot captain's cards. I'll sit here for a minute or two and see if we can see any that pop up. But uh, what they were trying to do, I believe, is make it easier for foot captain's cards to maybe pop up on the market. There's a Yuri 60K and it's gone, right? These are still extinct. Besides Marcelo, who is ridiculously expensive and not a fodder card, EA upped the price ranges on some of these cards. But again, that does not solve the problem of them um, not being on the market. The problem is, again, that they just don't have any supply. So it seems like EA was trying to fix something, a problem that they have created in this game. But realistically, it did not fix anything yesterday. I believe they updated price ranges as well for some foot birthday cards. And there may be a few more of those on the market for a little bit cheaper, but not much. Same thing with... Um, future stars and fantasy cards too. I believe there were some fantasy cards on the market for a little bit cheaper yesterday. Uh, but yeah, see, that you see, there's a decent amount more fantasy cards, but what's the cheapest one? Is it really 100K? How much is the cheapest fantasy card? Wow, 95,000 coins is the cheapest fantasy card. You can see some price range updates there for those future stars cards. Wow, how much are these? They're still extinct. Wow, so EA updated captains and future star price ranges and foot birthdays. Uh, but they still are, you know, it's the same result. And again, the result is the same because they're not getting supplied anymore. EA changed those price ranges, but really all that it did was just cause a few people that had invested in these cards to sell. That's the ones that you're seeing pop up on the market or some, some people that have invested, right? Like some people were buying foot captain's cards at 35,000 coins. Now they can sell them at 55 to 60 K but they're still extinct because those investors don't have enough supply stored up on their transfer list. You can see here, this is a, this is an investor, right? No games played, current club, and instantly it's bought, right? So that's just the story of the captain's cards right now uh, is that EA needs to supply them, not keep updating their price ranges, and that's going to be the fix. But again, we're running out of time. Mendy expires in like one day. So crazy. Again, the only option you have to try to get those cards is to do a footies player pick, but just again, a little bit, you know, not laughable, but confusing for EA sports. I mean, you know what you're requiring here, EA. Why did you not just put those cards back in packs like they should have been? So again, that's the big question that everybody's trying to figure out though, is how do I get foot captains? And of course, right now, the, the answer is the same. Maybe try to get them on the market because there's a few more popping up in snipe, or you can go in here and do this footies player pick and still gamble it away and hope to get something good, which is definitely not a very cost-effective way of getting foot captains. But we will see if those leaks come true sooner rather than later. I'm really looking for te uh, Telez and Kunde probably tomorrow, but Sadio Mane is a bit more of a question mark. If it wants to come earlier than Friday, I am all for it. But those are your leaks, and that's a roundup of content and what's to look for going forward today on Tuesday in FIFA 22. If you're enjoying the content on this game, if you're still grinding, hit the thumbs up on this video. Comment down below which of Telez or Kunde do you think you're going to do, or both if it's both, because I'll probably do both. Why not? And of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching today, lads. I'll see you on the Twitch stream. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.